हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ मिस्टर एन एस काटिकर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर नाउ टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द आइसोमेट्रिक प्रोजेक्शन एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू जनरेट द आइसोमेट्रिक प्रोजेक्शन एंड व्यू ऑल्सो द स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू विजुअलाइज द ओवरऑल पार्ट जोमेट्री now as you are aware earlier also you know that drawing rather the sketching is nothing but the engineer's language now to represent any part drawing geometry sub assembly assembly you need to take the help of any kind of drawing now whenever we are talking about the type of part drawing representations there are different methods and techniques you have learned and we are going to use in a industry as you are aware for particularly representation of a part part drawing for two dimensional there is a one generalized method called as the orthographic projection where we need to draw we need to generate the front view top view side view and as per the requirement the sectional views are also provided let us take the example that how the part drawing is represent over here now let us consider this is the geometry of a part this is the front view this is x y and let us try to understood that this is the top view itself i will generate the right hand side view also now this is the orthographic view of a particular geometry this is the front view this is the top view and this is the side view rather the right hand side view now with these two dimensional three views everyone has to understood the overall geometry of the part now you can see over here what is the understanding of the geometry of the part so we are going to observe the part rather the part geometry in the true shape itself but in the orthographic view what is the limitation the limitation regarding each and every sub view is likewise if at all the geometry is parallel to the reference planes then that particular geometry will be visualized in a true shape now in referred case you can imagine that what is the true shape of this edge what is the true shape of this edge this is not visible in this view this is not visible in this view so for the same another drawing representation that is auxiliary view we are referring what is the auxiliary view i am looking from this particular a direction and i am going to generate that view in opposite side which will give me the particularly view rather the true shape this is the auxiliary plane which we had considered now why we had explained and understood the orthographic view and auxiliary view because these are the two dimensional views and those are not sufficient to generate the 3d visualization of any part in the viewers or readers mind now let us see the need of isometric projection as we had noted need is nothing but to visualize by all means so the isometric projection isometric drawing and isometric view is nothing but two and half d visualization drawing now to visualize the part geometry by overall means we have to enforce towards the isometric projection now what exactly the isometric projection what are the types of the same the object which we are going to observe that has to be rotated 45 degree to the its vertical plane and it has been inclined to the viewer's direction 35 degree 35 degree and 16 minutes and whichever the view is observing that has to be plotted and that is nothing but the isometric projection now whenever we are generating the drawing and drawing the isometric sketch it can be classified by two different means one is isometric projection another is isometric view all drawing 
what exactly the difference between isometric projection and isometric drawing whenever we are going to consider the part drawing tilted 45 degree to the vertical plane and 35 degree 15 16 minutes to the viewers side then its scale has been reduced now for the same we are going to use the isometric view or the drawing as a full scale as a full scale and whenever we are going to use the isometric projection we are going to use iso scale isometric scale what exactly the isometric scale suppose this is a true scale this is a true scale so at an 30 degrees at the 30 degrees the scale is called as the iso scale the scale is called as iso scale now how to get that scale we have to project this true scale to the 30 degree line and these measurements these measurements these measurements are nothing but the iso scale theoretically we can say that true scale into 0.8 is nothing but the iso scale so i think you are getting it suppose the 100 millimeter side length is of any geometry then it has to be considered 80 millimeter while you are drawing the isometric view and isometric projection we are going to take full scale and in isometric projection we are going to consider iso scale now let us take a uh, one example for drawing the isometric projection i will repeat isometric projection means with the means of iso scale i will draw the one small orthographic suppose this is the front view this is the top view and this is the side view so just simple block we are going to consider this is the front view top view and this is the side view now how to draw the particularly isometry consider this as a baseline we are going to consider a origin we have to take a 30 degree lines over here 30 degree lines 30 degree 30 degree now this side is considered as a isoplane right isoplane left and on to the top side isoplane top one now let us consider how to draw this particular thing now this will be the origin for example this is the origin and this is the origin now from origin here we'll try to plot the particular front view okay so whatever here this is m this is n size okay this is a m and this is a p size okay so i will take this as a m i will take this as a n I will try to draw over here and and I will try to complete this box okay for the side view I will take the projection to this side this side and I will try to finish up the thing for top view I have to finish up the particular thing now you can visualize here this is the front view this is the side view and this is the top view likewise I have to plot the dimension this is a M and this is a n and this is a p that means this is a p this length is p so likewise the isometric projection can be completed so 80 percent of the true scale has been converted into the iso scale and likewise on the 30 30 degree line the all the geometries can be plotted so my dear friend with this we can understood we had understood the isometric projection These are the references for isometric projection machine drawing by Shiddheshwar Shastri, machine drawing by P.S. Gill. Thank you.